Hey everyone, Cassandra and Brandon here at Kabuki Strength, and today we're talking about leg drive. Yes, another video on leg drive for the bench press. Leg drive, leg drive, leg drive. But what we often find is that when people start to feel their leg drive, first thing that tends to happen is their butt starts to leave the bench. And so today we are gonna talk about things to look for to improve your leg drive without the butt lifting off of the bench press. Yeah, so we're gonna specifically cover a few indicators of you doing it right and you doing it not so right. So Cassandra's gonna go ahead and get into position here. Uh, the first way we're gonna show it is the common mistake. So she's gonna go ahead and show us how improper leg drive typically looks, which is with the hips rising up. So go ahead and take out that barbell for us. And beautiful, there it is, that illegal bench press. Love it, just like that, awesome. And now she's gonna go ahead and show us the exact same thing, but with proper leg drive, with the force going in the right direction. There we go. Perfect, awesome. So, we'll go back for us. so again, the big difference there is that the force that she's actually generating through her feet is actually going into the implement instead of just being wasted, going into nothing and not helping us at all, and also making your bench press illegal. So we want that leg drive to actually contribute to the movement of the implement, and of course, not get you disqualified in a competition. Anything to add there, Cassandra? So we're gonna show you, you know, how we want the force to be distributed without the bar just for another visual. Let's go and walk through that. And uh, when we do this one, I, I really like to play pretend to the best of our ability. I, I don't like to just kind of do it. I like to act like you have a barbell in your hand, take it out just like you normally would, make it as specific as possible. Cassandra's doing a really good job here. You can actually uh, think she would have a barbell in her hand in this position. And now from here, she's gonna go down just like she would with a normal bench press. And then she's gonna slide up as she presses just like that. Realistically, that's what your leg drive should look like, but when you have an implement in your hand, you will not actually slide up. Instead, that force is actually gonna go up the chain into the implement and contribute to you bench pressing more weight. In terms of what you're feeling during your leg drive, instead of just thinking about pushing your feet straight down into the floor, I like to cue my clients to think about pushing their feet down and out into the floor. So then that way you should feel tensioning through quads and external rotators of the hip. Try it out. Really exciting announcement for you guys. This coming February, we have a week long event where we're bringing in 40 plus industry experts on strength, therapy, biomechanics, nutrition, sports science, and many other topics related to effective coaching and programming for the first time in what we're calling the Kabuki Education Week. This will be an awesome opportunity to get CEUs through the NSCA as well as expand your own knowledge base. Now between now and New Year's, you can get 50% off registration as an early bird offer or you could potentially get a Christmas gift for a friend or a family member. Sign up now via the link in our bio.